Hi guys, I just wanted to give you your exam prep video um, for chapters five through eight. Um, it's gonna be set up very similarly than your, to your last one. I'm actually gonna give you um, 150 minutes, which means basically two and a half hours, so you have a little bit more time um, than, the, than the last time, so hopefully we don't run into that same issue. However, you're still obviously going to need to prep given what information I'm telling you today so that you are ready to take that exam and you're not having to flip back and forth and um, do some of those things that are gonna take some of your time away from you. So uh, first off, the first questions are gonna be the same. You're gonna have a chapter five matching, a chapter six matching, chapter seven matching, chapter eight matching. Um, and those are all vocab questions. So once again, my recommendation is if you can't memorize all your vocab, I would write it all out old school style, just like what we used to have to do when we were studying for tests. Put them on note cards, put them on a piece of paper, and you'll have it all right in front of you, and you won't be flipping back and forth between the book and your test um, trying to figure it out. Um, you could also, um, if there's a lot on one page, maybe just screenshot that page um, so that you have you have that, and then maybe just write down the single ones. What Whatever it is, it's going to make you be more successful on your exam. So that's gonna be the first four questions. Um, total, I believe you have 30 questions. So once you finish those, um, I actually didn't end up doing any true or false or multiple choice this time. I went right into some of your um, listing. I just kept everything either vocab in the matching or actual information from your text. Um, once again, I'm just gonna remind you, make sure the information that you're giving me is from your text not from the internet. I'm looking specific to what you have learned from reading your chapters and going through your PowerPoints. Um, and so when you Google things and copy it in, a lot of times you're not gonna get any credit for that because it's not gonna be the same as, as what the book is telling you. So just make sure, take this information, go in, make sure you have these, these things available to you um, so that you're ready for the exam. So in chapter five, it's all about personal nutrition. And so one of the big first components is what are the di dietary guidelines that um, we have set forth for Americans. And um, basically there's five of those. And so you wanna make sure you know those um, and what they are. And then a big component of this chapter is going to be discussing some of the major aspects of our nutrition. So protein, water, carbohydrates, fats, um, vitamins, minerals, those different categories and being able to discuss those a little bit. Um, so knowing what is a carbohydrate, how does it work in our body, where do we get those from, like what are some sources of carbohydrates, um, and how much do we need of that on a you know either on a daily basis and so make sure you go through that section and know a good deal of information about each category um, in regards to again what are examples of things in that category where do we get those things from how much do we need what does it do for our body what's the benefit um, are there any issues or any ties to disease or anything like that? So that's going to be a big chunk of uh, a question that you have to answer in chapter from from chapter five. Um, let's see what else. That's a big part of the first uh, part of the chapter. Um, you're also going to have to just discuss a little bit what are some good strategies for having a healthier eating pattern. What are the things that we like to focus on? You know, um, reducing intake of solid fats or reducing intake of sodium. Um, there's a whole list in your book that they give you in regards to what are some of those things that we can do with our diet to help us be healthier. Um, in your book, it talks about my plate, the USDA food patterns, the DASH eating plan, and the Mediterranean diet. Um, so you're going to have to be able to discuss a particular diet in detail. And um, obviously you guys did that in the discussion post. So you can either do one of these that's in your book 
um, and be able to explain that in detail, or you can also use the one that you looked up um, for your discussion post and be able to discuss that in detail. Your book also addresses um, vegetarian diets, so you could talk about that. Um, Another big component in what you're going to see in a couple of these chapters is relating it to the college population, because obviously that's what you guys are. And so even if you are an adult learner or a returning student or um, you live a non-traditional college experience, you know, that's OK. But it's important to know, like, what some of these issues are that happen on campus um, with our nutrition and with our exercise. So in this chapter, there's certain categories that they talk about. Um, in regards to campus nutrition and you need to be able to discuss those a little bit and tell me what are some issues that we're seeing on college campuses specifically in regards to nutrition um, food safety it gives you some different examples again knowing um, what is food safety and how to address some of those food safety issues. So like in your book, they talk about BAC, which is food bacteria. They talk about preventing E. coli. They talk about food poisoning. So um, I would be able to discuss, you know, a couple of those in detail, uh, pesticides, food allergies, just in regards to um, how do we make sure that the food we are consuming is safe for us and that we we are able to stay healthy and not become sick based on what we're putting in our bodies and that's really it for chapter five in chapter six it's very very similar because now you're talking about weight management and a huge part of weight management is what you learned in chapter five which is your nutrition but um specifically in chapter six Again, you're going to talk a little bit about what's particularly going on on college campuses. Okay, be able to give some statistics and some things like that that they're talking about. Um, be able to discuss how we measure body fat. Um, what are some of the different ways and, you know, what what's the benefit or drawback of those? Um, what are some reasons behind why we think people have gotten so fat? Again, there's a whole list in your book, but something like um, fast food obviously would be one of the, the natural responses. We know one of our big issues in America is fast food. Um, portion size, things like that. You know, if anybody's ever seen Super Size Me, that's one of, it's kind of a combination of, of just looking at fast food, but then it also brings in that concept of why do we have supersized meals when that's, not needed for anybody. Um, one of the other things you're going to really focus on in chapter six is what are the health issues related to obesity um, and being able to discuss some of those. And that doesn't just have to be physical health, which you should address some of those, obviously, you know, so something like diabetes, but what are some of the other things that might be going on too? Um, we already talked about diets. So in this chapter, it goes over diets again. But like I told you from last section, you're already going to discuss diets um, in your nutrition section. So that is just going to all kind of go together. Um, Um, your eating disorders, make sure you know what those are and a little bit of detail um, about each one. You have three majors, so know, know the differences between binge eating disorder, anorexia nervosa, and bulimia nervosa. Um, I will say one of the big things that with anorexia, that's all, usually a big key sign, is that they are very underweight. Um, with the other disorders, a lot of times you can't even, it's not visually noticeable that that person has a disorder. Um, an eating disorder, and with anorexia, they usually are a significant amount um, percentage under their their ideal body weight. And then that's really it for that chapter. Okay, then you're going to move into actual physical activity, 
which is kind of the other component of weight loss or managing your weight besides nutrition. And specifically in this chapter, um, there's a lot of terminology and that's all going to be in your vocab. But in regards to answering more essay style questions, um, there's a whole little chart in your book or list in your book that talks about what are things that we know are tied to health benefits of being physically active. And there's some that are have very strong evidence that there's a relationship. There's some that are moderate to strong and there's some that's moderate. So I would know a couple of each of those. So you have an understanding of what do we know is very highly linked versus what do we know is linked, but there's not really strong support for it yet. Um, I would also know then it lists a ton of health benefits. And again, it's not all physical. So like if you look and you see there's going to be a bunch of different headings, but one of them is brighter mood and less stress. So be able to discuss some of those physical, um, like healthier heart and blood vessels, but also be able to discuss, hey, exercise helps our mood. It helps with stress. And again, look specifically at what your text is telling you, because if you if you Google this, you're going to get all kinds of different answers. And that's not what I'm looking for. I want to know what, what you're taking away from what you're learning in your textbook. Um, also, you want to know, just like we knew the dietary guidelines for Americans, we want to know the physical activity guidelines for Americans. And that's in your book. And there's four of those listed um, that are basic activity guidelines. So make sure you're able to, to discuss those a little bit. Um, know the FIT principle. Okay, um, some of those principles are going to be in your vocab, but the FIT principle I want you to be able to describe. Um, let's see what else. Um, discussing flexibility. Um, what are some benefits of that? Um, discussing athletic. Uh, performance enhancement drugs. So knowing um, what are some of the different drugs we use to boost athletic performance, like human growth hormone or anabolic steroids, and discussing what do those do and what are some benefits, what are some downfalls. Obviously, we would like to focus on the negatives of those because we don't want people using them. Um, but it's also important to know why people might choose to use them. So make sure you understand that. Um, the different types of stretching um, and not like specific stretches but the types so the difference between doing a static stress and a static stretch and a passive stretch and an active stretch there's like four different styles of stretching so make sure you know those because it's important to know when you should do them and what they how they benefit your body um, know a little bit about the safety of working out and really I would focus kind of on some of the temperature issues because it, that's very important. Um, pretty much anywhere you go, you're going to have to deal with some extreme of those at some point. So some issues with heat, some issues with cold. Um, what are those issues and how do we prevent them and how do we make sure that nothing bad happens? And that's really it for that chapter, okay? And then your last chapter, you get into our social health. And that's much more about uh, what the what's going on with the people around us, our families, our friends, our relationships. And so um, one of the key components there is how men and women communicate differently. So know some facts about how men communicate versus how women communicate. Um, know some strategies for how to assert yourself because that's something that people tend to struggle with too. And so I want you guys to know some of those key um, strategies for how to assert yourself. Um, I 
have to talk a little bit about um, maybe some online issues, uh, cyberbullying, um, some of those components about technology and, and online communication. Um, another big component is knowing Sternberg's love uh, categories. Uh, there's three of them. And so knowing what those categories are and um, how we kind of put those together. Um, knowing a little bit about some of the dysfunctional relationships. So either, you know, discussing intimate partner violence, emotional abuse, codependency, those types of things. Um, also a big component in this is going to be uh, talking about marriage um what are some what do we know are some benefits of marriage um what are some statistics on marriage and those are all you know there's multiple examples of those in your book and then you're going to do the same thing with divorce so what are some of the components that um, lower your chance for divorce but then also what are some long-term consequences of divorce? And again, there's a bunch of examples of those in your, in your text. Um, I believe that pretty much covers it all. Again, in this section, I would just make sure you understand some of those things about um, the obviously marriage, divorce, um, college dating how has that changed um, like terminology wise and just in general um, and then like I said some of those communication men versus women communication how to assert yourself and that should give you a pretty good um, idea of what you're gonna need to know for your exam so as always if you have any questions let me know um, I'm posting this obviously today, which is Wednesday morning, and the exam will open Friday, and then you will have until Sunday night to complete the exam. Once again, it's I'm giving you two and a half hours, but you have to sit in one sitting and get it done. Um, you won't be able to go back and forth between questions. So just make sure that you are fully prepared and you have all your information in front of you. And um, hopefully now that you know what to expect from the last one, this one will be a little bit easier to navigate and get through.